right. And from performing flips to splits, cheerleading can be dangerous, as we know. In fact, 66% of all high school and college female athletes' injuries are from cheerleading, 66%. One family found that out firsthand when their 11-year-old daughter was injured. She shattered her elbow after three other cheerleaders dropped her during practice. Her family now suing. But do they have a case? Let's ask our legal panel, our attorneys, Angel Reyes and Michael Reagan. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Ainsley. All right, well, Michael, let me start good, with you because you are supporting this lawsuit. Tell me why. Well, Ainsley, I think that the Michigan Court of Appeals was, uh, it was correct in reinstating this negligence cause of action. And I think the people of Macomb County owe, owe a great, great debt of gratitude to Scott Erskine, the attorney for Ms. Sherry, and Ms. Sherry for bringing the irresponsibility of this football league to light and potentially preventing an injury uh, like this or worse to another young person. All right, Mr. Reyes, why don't you support it? Well, I think it's really simple. I mean, the, the trial court in this particular instance uh, found factually that the, uh, the person that was uh, alleging the lawsuit did not have the proper stands, did not have the grounds for the lawsuit, and I suspect they rely primarily upon the doctrine of sovereign immunity. And if uh, Michigan doesn't have that doctrine yet, I suspect that this case is going to get it in front of the legislature real quick. So I think the trial court did the right thing. They dismissed the lawsuit. And uh, the 11-year-old uh, the is just going to have to understand that, you know what, kids are kids. And unless we wrap them in, in uh, Kevlar, they're going to get hurt. All right, let's, let's show some of the graphics. We have some charts showing how the injuries have gone up over the past seven years. In 2000, you can see uh, about 20, 21,000 ER visits. And then you can see the increase, almost 5,000 more in 2007. So uh, definitely more injuries, as we've seen and pointed out. 66% of all injuries in sports caused from cheerleading. But let me ask you this, Michael. You're supporting this lawsuit, but when parents sign their kids up to go try out for cheerleading, don't they know about these risks? Absolutely, Ainsley, except in this particular case, this child, this 11-year-old child, went to a camp that was a day camp, uh, and the parents were not told that these kids were going to be engaged in stunting, which uh -huh. is a very aggressive form of cheerleading. This particular child was in a full extension uh, maneuver, which is, involves being held up five or six feet off the ground and thrown into the air and then uh, hopefully caught by her, uh, by her classmates. And this is a very aggressive uh, uh, maneuver, and the parents Especially for were an 11-year-old, right, not even parents, in high school. But the parents were not informed of the fact that this would be taking place at this particular camp, and so the parents didn't have Did a... Did the parents the, ask, though? I mean, I remember when I was a cheerleader, my parents just said, you're a cheerleader. They didn't know if, if I was doing stunts or not. I, I think it was just assumed. But, uh, Ainsley, there's a big difference between an 11-year-old going to a right. camp, as this camp had been in the previous years, where they were feet on the ground, mm -hmm. being uh, taught how to do cheers for Spirit Day. This is not a camp where kids are going to learn how to be All right. a cheerleader at a, at a higher level. Angel, I'll let you have the last word here. Look, let, let, let's face it, uh, today's cheering is not your daddy's cheering. These long, long, long past the days of G President George right. Bush no standing more on herkies the sidelines and, uh, cheering, <laughs> cheering for Yale to win the game. That's, That's Those right. days are long gone. Yeah. But I think that when people go to these camps, they know what they're getting into, and we've got to let kids be kids. We cannot wrap them in bubble wrap and send them out and make sure that they can never get hurt. Does, does That's that right, just not debate. practical. Okay, thanks, guys. We appreciate you both being in. Thanks. Have a great rest of your Glad weekend.